Hi guys, thanks for watching Cooking with Hua. Today I'll be making banana oats pancakes. This is a super easy and delicious recipe. The recipe will be on my website at www.cookingwithhua. You will need some quick oats. Instead of using flour as you would in traditional pancakes, I'm going to use the oatmeal and put it in my food processor and blitz it until it becomes like a flour consistency. And I don't like my oatmeal to be in big chunks when I make my pancakes, so I make sure that I process it until it's very fine. Traditionally, buttermilk is used when making pancakes, but I'm actually using a low-fat milk, and you can actually use almond milk too if you would prefer. And I'm adding in two eggs. I don't know why I buy oatmeal every year. I have an intention of wanting to eat healthier, but I'm not a big fan of oatmeal. And I'm like, what am I going to do with this big canister of oatmeal? And I decided I was going to make a healthier version of banana oats pancakes. You can actually make this recipe the night before and then make it in the morning to save you some time. I'm also going to add in some baking soda to give it that nice fluffy rise to my pancakes. And to give that extra boost of flavor, I'm going to add in some vanilla bean paste. I ran out of vanilla extract, but if you have that, just go ahead and add that instead. And I love cinnamon, so I'm going to add in a dash of cinnamon. You don't have to add it in if you don't want to. And of course, you need your ripe bananas. The riper the bananas, the better your pancakes are going to taste because we're not going to use any sugar because the banana is going to have enough natural sugar to give it its sweetness. And then you just want to pulse it until it becomes like a pancake batter. And just make sure that everything is well combined, that there's no big chunks of banana. Unless you like big chunks of banana in your pancakes, you can go ahead and leave it. But I like it a smooth consistency. I ended up putting my batter into a measuring cup and leaving it in the fridge for half an hour before I cooked it. For some reason, the cold batter just makes your pancakes a little bit fluffier. And I'm coating my pan with some cooking spray. And I'm adding in the banana oats batter. You'll know when you're ready to flip it when it gets all airy and bubbly. Then you just want to flip it around until it has that nice brown color. This will make about 8 to 9 pancakes. And depending on how big or how small you want your pancakes, it could be more or less. This is super easy, delicious, and a healthier version of pancakes. Thanks so much for watching Cooking with Hua. All my social media links will be listed down below.